everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new style by Beltress. This one is Pike Place. I have Pike Place in three colors today. We're going to do an unboxing of this style so you know exactly what to expect right out of the box. I have three pieces so we can examine uh, any potential variances in the style. Plus I have a special uh, skin tone segment but we're gonna take a look at this on a lighter skin tone and a darker skin tone for comparison. Coming up. I purchased these featured wig styles with my own funds. You can find them at Wig Studio One. Go below this video, expand the description box. I'll put a link directly to this style. You can check out all of the beautiful colors and pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. We want to earn your business. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. I love the Beltress styles. They're constantly coming out with brand new stuff for us to have lots of options. I love it that there are so many sister styles and grow out options within that Beltress line. They each offer a little something special. Pike's Place is a long bob. It's a medium style cut and about as long as you can get and still call it a bob. But I like still calling it a bob just because of some of the blunt layers in the back, which you will see coming up. I really think the gist of the style is a nice balance between the youthful, spirited, uh, text, heavily texturized and choppy styles of Beltrass and something a little more modern and sophisticated. I'm wearing Pike Place today in the color Mocha with Cream. I have two other colors to show you plus an unboxing. I tried to get a variety of colors to show you today. This Mocha with Cream you're going to see is a light to medium brown. It also has some medium more um, auburn or cinnamon, cinnamony brown in it, as well as some light gold blonde and some light neutral blonde in there. Overall, this is a very nice warm color. It's very rich. If you really like this color but not crazy about the root, I would suggest that you take a look at the Nutella Buttercream. Very, very close, just absent the root. Now, this one has a dark brown root. Now, years ago, when they first came out with this colors, the main criticism of the color was because it had such a black root, um, and it starkly contrasted with the color. Since then, I think they have really improved the way they've blended this root. So first of all, I think this root is a little warmer than it used to be. It just really looked very uh, ash black to me before. So again, I think it does transition better than it used to on some of the legacy style. The other improvement they've made with this color is that they brought that highlight right up to the lace front. I love it when they do that. It's not exactly banded there. It just is more uh, brought right up to the lace front and a little heavier around the face. What this does is soften those knots. The dark root that was on this color before had really stark knotting and it was almost unbearable to look at. And they have improved that impeccably here. So let's get into the specs of this style real quick. What you're gonna look at in the front is about 11 to an 11 and a half inch layer right at the front, okay? And that does, it has a little bit of curl to it that, that kind of curls away from the face. It's just beautiful the way they have structured that curl right there at the face. Now this little bit of lift here at the front was there right out of the box, but I did exaggerate it with the heat from my hand just a little bit to keep it out of the face for a review. But in our unboxing, we're gonna find out uh, what the new one looks like right out of the box. Now, overall, this is about a 15 inch length and it has more of a blunt cut, cut just meaning there's very minimal layering in the back. So this is more of a looser wave appeal than some of their choppier separated air dried beach look. So it's still tousled. So the fact that there's minimal and balanced layering on this style, I think you're really going to see a lot of body in it. You'll notice that at the bottom here. It just has a nice lush bouncy amount of body, which you typically do not find in some of the heavier textured layered styles by Beltress. 
just looks like a brushed out big beach wave. Then the Pikes Place has a lace front and left monofilament part assembly. Uh, the lace front does stop at the temple and the mono part stops just before the crown. But again, let's get up close on that lace because I think it's much improved on this color. The knots are fairly fine and softened by that highlight. This is a part of the Cafe Collection. They're all heat-friendly styles. You can style this up to 350 degrees. So I'm really in love with this modern kind of brushed out wave, full-bodied look of Pike Place. Uh, the next color I'm gonna show you is the British Milk Tea. And I have it sitting back here on my model Y. So it's really nice to see colors on different skin tones. Um, so that you can get an idea of how it may look on you. British Milk Tea is a combination of eight brown and blonde tones. Uh, we have anything from a dark blonde to a light brown mix, and then that is toned all over with more of a violet, tint, a violet tinted toner. And so that's gonna make some of these ash blonde pieces look almost white, almost a violet touch to them. Now against a darker skin tone, those highlights are really gonna pop a lot more because they're in greater contrast to the skin tone. So can darker skin tones wear this color? Absolutely, you see how gorgeous it is. And the other thing that really helps with the darker skin tone as well is that there's a darker root on this British Milk Tea. So even though there's a lot of lighter pieces there, it just is really anchored by that root and that root also gives it some beautiful dimension so um, i really love the look of this against a darker skin tone i'm going to go ahead and put on the british milk tea so you can see it against my lighter skin tone so this is pike's place in british milk tea now i can tell a difference already this one seems a little fluffier um the density is about the same, but maybe there's just a tad more wave to it. There's not as much contour in the front. And there might be just a tad more lift at the top, just giving it a fuller look. All right, so here you see this British Milk Tea against my light neutral skin tone. And I really love the blonde pieces in this. That really sets it for me. Um, it's more ash and tone just because it has that toner effect on it. Beautiful. So I swapped out the mocha with cream with the British Milk Tea on our lovely model back here. So I wanna show this to you. Um, you can tell that on the darker skin tones, the lighter highlights just really pop a little more. So it changes that dynamic just a little. And again, this mocha with cream is gorgeous, but it looks even more warm against the darker skin tone than it did on my neutral skin tone, neutral light skin tone. Those blonde highlights really pop. Again, that rooting is done really well and sort of anchors that color. Okay, we've seen two colors. Now it's time to do our unboxing of our third color. So this is Pike Place by Beltress in the color Bombshell Blonde. Yes, I had to fit at least one light blonde in this lineup today. I really enjoy the bombshell. So we're gonna take a look. nicely packaged. I think we've come to expect that from Beltress across the board. Okay. Let's get the net off. Wow, that is really a creamy light blonde, isn't it? I don't think I've had the bombshell. Yes, I I have seen it on my uh, cold brew chic little silicone pack for moisture absorption. Wow. 
That is a full body wave there, isn't it? Um, so far, it seems very consistent. Let me go ahead and remove the tag so we can begin working on it a little and apply it. So I'm just gonna shake it while that bombshell blonde is a bombshell. <laughs> It has more white in it than some of the other applications of Bombshell Blonde. This is a lot of blonde. Typically blondes like this, I, um, I try to keep on the shorter styles just because this is a lot of blonde. It's more of a shocking type of blonde when it's on a lot of real estate, a more hair. So let's go ahead and continue to shake. And then I wanna work on this, I wanna work on this part. Unweave the parting space. It's always in a tight weave there. Now with belt truss, I typically have to move that part just slightly, still with on the, within the monofilament, but just to get out of that zigzag pattern there. A lot of flyaways. Now this is very typical of belt truss that you would have a ton of flyaways on it. Uh, the fiber, it's just so buttery and velvety and fine that you will expect flyaways. It doesn't matter what piece it is, a short piece, a long piece, you are going to see some flyaways. Now, typically that just, I think that actually adds a little bit of a natural touch because finer human hair would do the would act the same exact way. All right, now what I'm going to do is make an adjustment right away because I know that bell truss runs very large on me. And so I end up having to cinch this in as far as it can go. Um, let's take a look at this cap while we're up here. No surprises here, but um, there is that lace front, left monofilament part assembly. Very typical, it runs temple to temple, but does not extend back in the ear tab. Lots of wefting, lots of stretch. Uh, these bra strap type adjusters, which tend to escape the cap at times, especially if you make a large adjustment, um, but very typical. Uh, this one has very little permatees on it, uh, which is also typical of the Bell Trust Cafe collection. So we are ready to apply. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off and pop this on. So can you see that this bombshell blonde is just super blonde, <laughs> almost, a platinum you know I think this looks a lot like the marshmallow blonde with a root actually that's this is about the tone of the marshmallow blonde but your bombshell blonde is going to be a white like a 60 base color and then in that then you'll see some other mixed in colors like a gold blonde a light gold blonde in there and then all of that is on a light golden brown root. So I think I'm gonna have to make another adjustment to this cap because it's rolling around on my head. Okay, Pike's Place in Bombshell Blonde. This is the beauty of being able to review more than just one piece because then you can see some of the variants. If I would have just shown you the mocha with cream, and you got this one, you may, might be like, wow, you know, this one has a little choppier texture to it. Um, not as much curl around the front, which is easily remedied, by the way. Just get a curling iron or some sort of a hot air brush or something to add that curl. But it's definitely choppier and messier than the first two. It's always a debate on which one to reveal as the unboxing, because you just never know, because you're seeing it for the first time right along with me. Okay, what I'm gonna do then is show you what this looks like against a darker skin tone. I reapplied the British Milk Tea. 
uh, so that I could show you the bombshell blonde against a darker, more warmer skin tone. So when you're looking at the bombshell blonde on this little bit of a darker skin tone here, that gold blonde really pops out, doesn't it? Hopefully, because when I get too close, it sort of glares out because there's just so much light bouncing off of this blonde. Okay, so I think that based on the three pieces that I have reviewed for you, uh, the Mocha with Cream seems to be the most um, cohesive in terms of its texture and its volume. And then the following up closely would be the British Milk Tea. And then the one that has the most separated look to it would probably be this one in Bombshell Blonde. And this one, this texture actually reminds me a little bit more of that single origin um, than the first two. So now I'm just gonna do a little bit of simple, messy styling, just so you can get an idea of how this hair moves and reacts and the density of it, and uh, maybe inspire you to style your new Beltress Pike Place. Please look it up at Wig Studio One. All of the links are below. We'll see you soon on Tazzle's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.